We're back. This is Star. She is from a different litter. So we figured we'd show. Uh, we also did Truffle, who was from that same litter. So we had two litters born one day apart. And she's from our Peter Pan litter. The other one's from our Oliver and Company litter. So you can see the difference. Um, her daddy was from Field Lines. Her mama was from Show Lines. Her mom was across a European-American combo. And dad's American Field Lines. The other one's dad is European Show Lines. And mom is European Show Lines. So you can just see the difference in the energy levels between this one and the last one. Because we were live about mm, maybe a half hour ago, 15 minutes ago. But this is Star. She's one of our keepers. So she's a potential breeder. Her eyes were clear and perfect, so that makes us very happy. And now on to the next stage, which is hips, elbows, and heart. And what we're doing is we're capturing behaviors. And because she's more energetic, it's going to be neat to see the difference between this one and Koa, who was the first one that we did. Tara has the clicker and star knows and it's raining outside so if you hear the background white noise it's it's the rain in the storm but she knows that clicker means i like what you did go and get your food now that since she's running there a few times we could tell her bump and she goes and gets it and we we click it and that's how we name things but it's not about naming and if it, she doesn't get it named today it does not matter it is about exploring and checking out things and because she keeps going to that too, we can either move it to a different location, right? What if we put it in the middle of this place board right here, right? Um, or on a chair or, well, not like on a chair, but by a chair. And now she's like, wait, that thing was over here. So we have the wobble board that has a fit pause bed underneath it to keep it up. There's a toy, there's the piano, there's a pause up, a clack clack, there's scent right there, there's stairs, there's the target, there's the place. So we've got a whole bunch for her to explore and do. And if your dog needs less, you can always do less. You don't have to have a half a dozen plus things out because we do. You could do just one if you really want your dog to get this one. But for us, it's not a matter of teaching the dog. We were also capturing down earlier with the dogs. So curiosity for looking underneath things as a future service dog and a future breeder uh, you can follow us we breed raise and train golden retrievers as service dogs uh, therapy dogs and pet dogs and we have a litter it's what eight days old right now and then these guys are four months old uh, follow us give us a follow you'll see when we go live she's having so much fun with this So that's the wobble, right? What if we did this and just held it? And what if we held it up a little higher? I want her to do paws up, right? So this isn't pure capturing anymore. It's more shaping. Nice. That's for the, the scent, the nosy nose scent pillow that we have underneath there. See, it's, I like working with an active dog, but you have to think three steps ahead. Notice Tara hasn't said anything while she's training. She's just clicked. Now she also, Star knows that break means the same thing as click, but a click is faster. Nice. She said nice. Yeah, oh I like that. Right? <laughs> So we like a dog to be an optimistic thinker and to do well. I'm gonna hide it here and see if she finds it. We want that, we want that optimism. We want that the world is an amazing, awesome place and so am I. Do you see that as soon as she made that noise, she started heading back to you? She's like, that was a clicker. Right, <laughs> I knew that was a clicker.
Okay, I'm on TikTok shop. I'm not seeing the clicker that we use, but I just put she a clicker up. <laughs> but uh, there's another clicker and it's a good clicker. So I, I added that up to the live. So if you guys want to, to get a clicker and you don't know what that is, and then the toy that we have there is a Kong Waba. And so I'm gonna send, these are the largest. I'm gonna add those to the live. And I don't think they're gonna have Happy Howie's, which is the food that we're using, but I'm gonna see. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon would have them. Yeah, Happy Howie's isn't on here. Um, and then Target Stick, I don't think they have on, but we're gonna check that and see. No. How about dog bed caught? Yes, okay, so these aren't the ones I really like, but I know people will use these, so we'll add those to the live also. Well, that doesn't want to get added, so we'll try this one. There we go. They're not, they're not the great ones that I love, but there, I added those, so if you guys are looking and you're like, I want that, um, I don't know what it is. Check it out. So this is Star. She's a four month old golden retriever. She's from Flounder and Albert. Albert is my service dog. So you might've seen him on here. He's the darker red one. Oh, we also got two of his certificates in the mail for his two new scent titles. And this is kind of what we expect from their puppies. It's a little more energy. We've noticed that with his first litter. This is his second litter. They're a little more active, a little more energetic. And the nice thing is that confidence translates to, energy translates to confidence here. So dogs will hit fear periods and you want to be able to know how to handle that. And what to do and how to help your dog out to the best of your ability. For the first two years, they'll be in and out of fear windows. Nice. And like that, she gave zero fucks. <laughs> Ooh, I used a naughty, naughty cuss cuss word. She gave zero fudges. See, it just doesn't hold the same. It just doesn't sound great. It doesn't. And we just got the carpet yesterday, so that's a new surface for them. It's an indoor-outdoor carpet from Winn-Dixie, actually. They had a whole bunch of BOGO stuff. This is not BOGO, but we picked it up. It was only $12. It was only $12. So look how pretty it is. It's pretty. And it gives the pups a little more traction. <laughs> you can't hide that on me. We'll move it there and see. So. And when she finds this, I've got another idea in mind already. I can click for this one because you can't really see it. <laughs> she, and she knows, right? She's like, I like my food. Where's my food? I love working a dog who likes to work. Truffle was just in here when Truffle was done and got cuddles from Aunt Tara. <laughs> she is fun. Oh my gosh. When your dog is faster than you are, and for some people, when the dog is smarter than you are. Bless you.
Bless you. Tara's getting a refill. <laughs> She's like, I might hit it. There's a game that trainers like to play called like a hundred things to do with the box. And like you can have the dog do like a foot in it or two foot in it or sit in it or stand on it. And you know, like, so you can capture different things to do with the box with the dog. I'm like, well, we use boxes for other things that are funner. Mm -hmm. And so the more they invent their own behavior, the more that's going to become their native tongue. And they're going to revert to that whenever they don't know what to do. You know, if they're like, well, this has paid me before, so let's try that again. And that's good. That's what we want. We want a dog who is an optimistic learner versus a pessimistic learner. We want a dog who finds it fun to work and to try new things. Because as a service dog, she's going to be out walking. What if she has to walk across the grate? We want her to be able to walk across the grate and not say, mm -mm, nope, I ain't going on there. That's something new. And notice that there's two people on the love seat to the right here. You see that, Tan? That's the love seat. I'm here. Tara's here. You notice who she's working for. And then there's Sunny behind Tara. Sunny's the poodle. Who's snoozing? The star is working 100% for Tara. <laughs> She's like, hey. star. I think I called her Sunny last time. <laughs> Sunny is working 100% for Tara. By sleeping, she's looking at her mom like, Mom, it's not what's going on. Don't, don't give that dog my name. But yeah, so I put clicker, I put some other stuff um, in this live for the shop, the bed and the wubba. The wubba's right there. I love Kong. Kong makes the best toys for the dogs. Oh, that was adorable. Nice. Even when she did a run under, Tara was quick with that. So there's a reason it's hard to film and talk at the same time and work the dog. So she's working the dog and I'm talking and filming. Or you're going to miss stuff and then your dog's going to get frustrated. So before you go to work your dog, come up with three things that you want to work on this session. Here we have more than that, right? We have the cot, the wobble, the paws up, the bump, 
the clack clack, the scent, the toy, the piano. But try three things. And if one doesn't work, skip to the next one. But if during this whole time we were setting up, that's not going to do good for the dog, right? Um, they're not going to do good for the dog at all. If you're still setting up and she's like, no, I'm ready to go. And then you're like, okay, now it's time to go. And she's like, nope, I'm done. I burned out. I don't want to do this anymore. So we have everything set up beforehand and she was able to come in and hit the ground running. Here we got a question. Hi, I hope you're having a good day. This might sound like a silly question, but they can help. Can they help with anxiety? Sure can. We have done psychiatric service dogs in the past and I'm sure we will in the future also. Yeah, one of her sisters is a veteran service dog for psychiatric. Yeah, well, her half sisters. Her half sisters. Same daddy, different Same letter. Daddy. Two sisters. Right? Sister with the same mister. Mm -hmm. But you can see she's slowing down, right? Mm -hmm. How do you know the dog's done? Because they slow down. They done. She's like, put my feet up. She still knows that that red ball pays out, though. <laughs> right? She's like, okay, that ball pays out. And then we're probably going to do a shaping and capturing workshop. Because it's one thing that a lot of the trainers aren't good at. Their timing sucks. Their rewards suck. They don't understand how to do it. Or they do it crappily. So stay tuned for that. We haven't scheduled dates or anything. Hi, from Ormond Beach. I have two Goldens myself, sadly. have to possibly put Tilly, who's nine, down tomorrow. I'm so sorry to hear that. She's like, I was heading over there to get water, but you clicked, so I'll come back. So we have a challenge for you, and it's a clicker challenge, or a shaping or a capturing challenge. This is shaping, right, and capturing. So maybe with the, um, we were okay with her touching the, that target and then we wanted a little more and a little bit more. I want you to capture something with your dog, shape something with your dog, train your doggy, use the clicker, see how, or a marker word. So that means that the marker word or the clicker has to be charged. We start doing that about three weeks old with these puppies. And, but you could charge them up at any age, but charge it up, see how they do. And teach them something. It could be a silly pet trick. It could be something like a down or a sit or a shake or a wave or a bump or there's the scent. She's like, um, do I get double treats? Cause I did two things. But that is my challenge to you is what can you capture and shape with your dog and i'm going to be logging off i will catch you next time